Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at another dump trailer. I was super excited about this one. It's a 20 foot with 4 foot sides. It has 10k axles with 14 ply tires all the way around. And it comes with a few other options on it and upgrades. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what you guys think of this trailer right here. So coming from the front we got ourselves a 30k round gooseneck coupler. Pretty standard on that. 19 pound, uh, 12 inch 19 pound I-beam neck and riser and also the frame itself as well so it's pretty heavy duty right there we got ourselves cross members three inch channel cross members at 12 inches apart with the outer frame being a two by six uh, tubing on it and then we got ourselves stabilizer jacks here uh, they are well stabilizer jacks they're support stands and jack form we have one on each side for the back here so if you're loading up pretty heavy equipment you can put those bad boys on there and that way you're not stressing or bending your frame and putting extra well putting extra stress on those like i said these come with 14 ply tires on it so you got 235 85 16s uh g 14 ply right there load range g we got that and the spare as well on this one just a piece underneath there that is the hoist right there i'm gonna jack this one up a little bit and show you on that on this one, we also got the spreader gate. That's where the it hinges close on top. And then we also have barn doors on this bad boy and some serious monster ramps on this. I'll attach a picture on that. They are made out of four inch channel instead of three inch channel, as you quite often see. Like I said, this is a four foot sides and they are 96 inches from the inside to inside. So got 96 inch width on that. 20 foot long, four foot tall. So you got a lot of room to throw all kinds of crap in there. We got ourselves a toolbox on the left hand side, which is full of the, the hydraulics and everything on it. They don't throw it in the front. I actually put this on a side toolbox here. So you got yourself the Nugwa charger, you got two batteries and the pump right behind there. And then you got the wireless remote that old Max D's come with. We also have the front here an extra toolbox which this one is completely empty to throw in all kinds of other stuff so those are chains for the spreader gate that way you can control how much uh, gravel or dirt comes out there at, a, at the same time but let's look at the gbwr on this one so this one is going to have a 12,000 and sorry 22,500 gbwr on this one with a payload of 13,100 pounds so that's a lot of crap that you can put in here, especially on this big boy right here. We also got a pullover tarp on this one, which is a standard option on the Max D. So this is the hoist right here. It is a six by 30, which means it has a 30 inch stroke and it's six inches wide of a cylinder. Um, just look at that. That is a beast. And then the hoist itself, I mean, it's just overkill. And then you have your ramps all the way in the back there, sticking underneath there. So we're gonna just do it up to that point. But great looking trailer. Now you're probably wondering what's the price on this bad boy. Typically they run for right around 26,000 uh, by Max D, just because of the overbuiltness of the trailer and the warranty that it comes with. It actually comes with a five-year structural warranty and a two-year comprehensive warranty on them. But these are going to be priced at $24,000. So if you're looking for a trailer like this, 20 footer, 96 inches uh, width, with 10K axles and 14 ply tires. Don't forget, most of the other ones are going to have 10 ply tires. 14 ply tires, it's going to be priced at $24,000 before tax set on license. So if you're looking for a trailer like that, give us a call at 430-340-0307. And like always, don't forget to like and comment below this video and subscribe to this channel to keep up with deals that we have going on and new trailers that we have coming in.